Namaste my friends and welcome to another class of Namaste Kids Yoga with me Hayley. It's lovely to see you today and we've been doing a lot of travelling recently so I thought it was time to come back home and come back to a bit of silliness and fun. So today our theme is da, 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 it's turtle time. Turtles, tortoises, all things Shelley. So, uh, before we start, we're going to do our silly oms. So, remember om is the sound of the universe. We're going to make our om sound slow motion. Because we know that turtles and tortoises are very slow. So we're going to make our om sound. Om, really exaggerating our mouth and making it really slow and steady. So, let's take a nice big breath in through the nose, down the pipes and into the tummy balloon. And let's make a slow om sound and really make your mouth move. Just sensible. Oh. That was lovely. Well done. Right. Let's just remind ourselves how we breathe through the nose and into the tummy, placing the hands on the belly. Filling the tummy up full of air. And let your tummy balloon go all flat with a big... <sighs> big breath in. And let your balloon go flat. <sighs> big breath in. And squeeze all that air out of your balloon. <sighs> Very good. Remember to keep breathing in through your nose, nice and steady, as we do our yoga today. In a moment, we're going to stand up, because our meditation today is going to be slow-mo meditation. We're going to move slowly, just like turtles and tortoises, especially the giant tortoise, who only lifts up one leg at a time. And he moves very slow and steady. So that's what we're doing today in our walking meditation. So let's stand up. We've got to really think about how we walk. So we're going to lift up one leg. Lift it up high, point those toes towards you, and when you place the foot, place the heel down, and then slowly the rest of the toes. 
And as you're doing that, you'll notice that your back leg, your heel starts lifting up automatically because it knows it's going to come up. Point those toes towards you so you've got a nice flat foot as you come down. Heels, middle of your foot, toes. Toes coming up on this one. So we're just going to do that. Walking around your room. Oh, that was a little one because I've got to turn. I don't have much space here. You can use your whole room. Walking. Thinking about your foot. Up, down, heel, middle, toes. Up, down, heel, middle, toes. Up, down, heel, middle, toes. And as you're doing this, think about how the ground feels as you put your foot down and try to spread all your toes out onto the ground. So your big toes right through to your pinky toes. So we're looking a little bit daft as we do this. Why is it you? We don't care. As long as we're having fun. But meditation, remember, is all about focus, concentration on this one thing. Walking slowly, lifting heel, middle, toe. Heel, middle, toe. Lean up, down, heel, middle, toe. Down, heel, middle, toe. See if you can do that, doing the words in your head. So you're being silent. Good job, everybody. Right, we are going to sit back down for our C yoga section. It's not that silly, really. So, turtle, quick turtle pose on your bottoms. Feet together. Nice big wide gap. This is your turtle shell. Place the hands in the middle and slide the arms underneath to make the flippers. Tuck your head into your shell. And then can you look up at me and give me a smile? Your best tortoisey turtle smiles. Mmm, that's a big wide smile. No teeth. Mmm. So, tortoises and turtles are some of my favourite animals. Wouldn't it be cool to take your home everywhere with you all the time. I think so. Some turtles spend all of their lives in the water, so you might have to go on a boat to see them coming up into boat pose on your bottoms, feet flat, knees bent, ah, 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 ah. lifting up one leg, lifting up the other leg, one hand away, the other hand away, give me a wave, hi. Straighten your arms up, shoulders away from your ears. Looking strong in your boat. What is it? Is it a rowing boat? Row, row, row your boat. Is it a canoe? Paddle, 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 paddle. Is it a sailboat? Blah, 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 blah. That's your sail blowing in the wind. Blah, 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 blah. Or what else could it be? A pedo? That's the one where you have to pedal, 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 pedal. <laughs> Whatever boat it was, you might need to do to go on it to see some turtles that live in the water. But some tortoises live on the land. Some live in the desert with the camels coming up 
onto your high knees. Okay, different levels of camel. Hands on your back, push up your chest, look up to the sky. Or maybe camel number two, heels tucked up with your toes and you're going to reach and look up to the sky. Remember, if you're doing this one, when you want to come out, you come straight up. Number three, the hardest one, is to untuck the toes and reach it. Stretch those arms out wide, bring them around, look up and reach back. And your body is the hump of the camel and come up. So you do whatever one is right for your body, remember, whether it's number one, number two or number three. Only go as far as it feels right. Don't hurt yourself. Okay, so we have the turtles or tortoises that live in the desert with the camels. But my neighbour has a turtle, a tortoise I should say, as a pet and she walks him like a dog coming up into dog pose. Paws on the ground, toes tuck under, bottoms in the air. She takes him for a walk. Can you walk your feet? Put one foot to the mat and then the other. Walking your tortoise. Do, 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 and then push both of those heels to the mat. Or the floor, I should say. But they're not going to touch. They're just going to hover. Now, if you scratch the pet tortoise on his shell, he wags his tail. Lift up one tail, give it a wag. <sighs> oh, we don't need to t a doggy noise if it's a tortoise. He doesn't make a doggy noise. And remember, he has two tails. Give it a wag. Good job. Okay. Now, um, turtle. <laughs> Tortoises live in lots of places, but I don't think they can live in trees. So we're in our downward dog. Let's jump our feet forwards, poing, and come up to stand. Ready for tree pose. Okay, steady base. Baby trees, heel on the foot. Hands can come to the hips, just while you start this one. Now, if you think that is too easy, take your foot to the ankle. Okay, your toes are pointing to the ground and your knee comes right out to the side. Is that too easy for you today? If it is, you can go higher, but you can never go against the knee. No, no, no. That is going to really damage your knee joints if you're pushing against it. So you either have to go down by the ankle, or on the bottom of the leg, or up and right to the top. Okay, when you've chosen what level you are at, squeeze your bottom together, squeeze your tummy in, that makes you stand a bit taller and stronger. Imagine you're being pulled by a string, up, 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 so you're super tall, and then you can start to put your branches out. So you can pop your hands here, and then you can lift them up and then you can put them out. The branches of the tree. What tree are you today? Are you a palm tree? Then you'd have some floaty leaves. Are you a Christmas tree with a pointy top? Maybe you put a star on it. Are you just a giant strong oak tree? Whatever tree you are on this side, you need to swap so we can do it on the other. So put your foot down, controlled, and swap sides. So you've got your baby tree, or your little tree, or your giant oak tree. Now you should try to do the same on that side that you did on this side. So you do them equally. So if you went high on this leg, you need to do it on this one. 
Remember, the knee is trying to come out sideways and the foot is pointing down to the ground. So what were you last time? Were you a Christmas tree last time? Maybe you'll be that again. Maybe you'll be a palm tree. That's a bit trickier because when you're moving your arms, it makes you wobble a bit more. Or you can just be that sturdy oak tree. Whatever you are, stand tall and strong. You might wobble. Trees wobble in the wind. That's totally fine. But you want to stay upright because I believe you are strong. Falling over is just silly. Okay, this is how we stood up today. And now we are ready for our sergeant salutations. Standing straight, shoulders away from your ears, arms in the sun. You're gonna get up, you're gonna get up, you're gonna get up, you're gonna salute the sun. Okay, kids, Sarge here. Just like you salute the Sarge, we're gonna salute the sun. Yogis, salute. Namaste. Namaste. Butterfly up. Butterfly up. Butterfly down. strong. 
mountain pose. Okay, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do next. We're going to play the turtle freeze dance. So, I'm going to put some silly music on. I want you to have a little dance any way you like. But as soon as I shout turtle time, you need to curl up in child's pose. So, I'll give you an example. Oh, that was my ankle. You're dancing away. And I'll say, turtle time. And you will curl up in child's pose like this. Imagining you're a little turtle and your back is your shell. And you will stay there and you will try to breathe nice and deeply in through your nose, into your belly, slowly. Big deep breaths. Trying to fill up your shell. Okay? So quite often when we do our belly breathing, we're trying to fill up the tummy, which is good. And we want to do that. But you can fill the tummy up and then fill up the back of your shell. So you might see, if I try and do it, I've got a bit of a um, hay fever nose today, so it's a little bit blocked, but I'll try and blow up and see if you can see my back move. Right, so let me curl up. you could see what I'm talking about. Okay, when we are curled up, I want you to do three big, beautiful breaths. So let's stand back up, and you know, I have to find the music. Here we go, this is our happy song.
slowly bring your head up. Let me stop that one. Right. It's really hard to do games when I can't see you or talk to you. So uh, hopefully you had a little bit of fun with that. Uh, but now, why don't we go jogging through the jungle? See what animals, maybe there'll be a turtle. Our visit to the jungle is fun and a little scary. During the drum solo is when you pose. You better be wary. Murray, you ready to go for a job? Let's go.
break you. You did really well. We've had lots of dancing around in today's class, haven't we? So, I think you deserve a bit of a rest. Let's come down into our secret garden relaxation. And I'm going to let Harris lead this one. So just lay down, listen to her voice, and um, follow along. Remember, when she says lifting up legs and arms, it is just a little bit off the floor, like this, like this. Not up here, okay? I'll be watching. Get yourself comfy, preferably laying on your back and laying flopped out. I'm going to pop my turtle on my tummy today. If you've got your eye pillow, you can use that. If you've got a teddy that you want on your eyes, you can use that. If you have a blanket, snuggle up and let's listen along. Let's take a fantastic journey to our secret garden. Lay on your back with your arms and legs by your side, palms face up. Raise one leg up just a few inches, squeeze it, hold it. Now just drop your leg down, roll it around, and forget about it. Raise your other leg up just a few inches, squeeze it, hold it. Now just drop it down, roll it around, and forget about it. Raise both of your arms up at the same time, just a few inches. Spread your fingers out wide. Now make tight fists. Roll them around in both directions. Squeeze your fists and both your arms. Drop them down, roll them around, and forget about them too. Breathe in deep, deep, deeper. Blow your belly up like a big balloon. Hold it, take your finger and pop your balloon on your belly button and make a noise while letting the air out. <laughs> Open your mouth as wide as you can and stick your tongue out. Suck your cheeks in and make a fishy face. Close your mouth and blow your cheeks up really big. Now make a prim face and scrunch everything up. Relax your face now. I bet you're feeling totally relaxed. Use your imagination to visualize a beautiful fairy. Imagine that she is tapping both of your feet with her wand and all of that fairy dust is entering your feet and your feet are becoming even more relaxed. And now that fairy dust is slowly climbing up your legs, all the way up through your belly, your back, and your shoulders. Don't forget your fingers, hands, and your arms. Then up through your neck and to every little part of your face. Imagine your entire body filled with fairy dust and relaxed. You feel so light now that you lift up and take off for your journey to your secret garden. Lift yourself up into the clouds and look around. What a beautiful sight and so peaceful. Go ahead, look around. What do you see? When you're ready to come down from the clouds, slowly bring yourself into a comfortable space in your secret garden. It can be anywhere that you'd like it to be. You might be at the beach or in the woods or even on a mountaintop. You might be in an igloo or a teepee, or even a canoe floating down the river. Make sure it's a very, very special place because you'll probably want to come back here often. What do you see now? Maybe there's a big tree with an old fashioned swing hanging from it. You might even want to put up a huge fence surrounding your garden just in case you want to be all alone. 
Do you want to paint your fence purple, green, pink? Even polka dot fences are allowed in your secret garden. You may want to have a pond or a lake in your garden with mermaids, dolphins, goldfish, or even some ducks. Feel free to invite family or friends to join you in this very special place. Or you can just rest alone. I'm going to be quiet and let you enjoy your secret garden now. your tummy. Squeeze them in and a little rock from side to side. And if you've got your eyes closed, maybe you can open them now and blink a couple of times just because it's going to feel brighter. I want you to roll up to one side and then stay there. So, staying laying down on your side. We can become turtles whenever we need a break from the busyness and the noise of the world, just by bringing our attention to our shells. So right now, where you are, curl up into your shell and take three deep breaths to remind yourself you are calm. So you can do that either in child's pose or you can stay here if you wish and curl up like this. But I'm going to go into child's pose and do our deep breaths like we did in our game. Three deep breaths in and out. My last breath. And slowly sitting up. Coming to crisscross legs. We're going to do a version of our finger meditation, but instead of peace begins with me, we're going to do I'm a calm person. Okay? Three times normal, three times whisper, and three times silent. Just like normal. Still sitting up tall, you can rest your hands on your legs. If you want to close your eyes while you do it, that's really good. If you don't like closing the eyes, that's fine. But maybe look towards the tip of the nose or just down to the ground so that you're not distracted by anything else. Okay, let's have a go. I'm a calm person. I'm a calm person. 
calm person. I'm a calm person. Whisper. I'm a calm person. I'm a calm person. I'm a calm person. Silent. Keep going. Ooh, open your eyes. That didn't work too, too well, did it? Because I forgot I had put my bells inside my bowl. <laughs> so when I went to ring the bowl, it didn't work. That's better. Okay. Before we go, let's just have a little mini mindful moment. See if I can make my singing bowl sing for you. Ready? Good job. Well, I hope you liked a bit of silly turtle time today. And I will see you next week with a whole new class. If you have any comments, feel free to let me know uh, in the uh, below in Facebook. And if you have any ideas for a class that you'd like to do, let me know. I can't make everything yogury, but I can make a lot. Hands come together. Hands to our head to think good things, hands to our mouth to say good things, and hands to our heart to do good things. Big breath in. Namaste. I'll see you soon. Bye. Great job today, by the way. Thanks for coming.